Hey everybody, you guys are going to be making uh, apple pie candle with me today, so welcome. What you're seeing are the $3 soup bowls from Walmart. What I do suggest is every season Walmart puts out a very cheap um, ceramic type bowl. That is the pumpkin bowl that I've had for like two years now. They do not generally bring those back, so try to get as many as you can while they have them. I still hate that I didn't get more of that pumpkin. This is normally found in the just any of the like holiday sections whenever they start to bring those out. What you see me using there are two CD14 wicks. I'm just going to put those in place with my glue gun. I don't remember where I got that glue gun, so I did not put it in the link below. Um, most of the items that you see will be linked below, including that ceramic bowl. Not sure that you can get it online though because it's a seasonal item. And we're just putting it in place. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance for having my fat all out. <laughs> I didn't even realize that you could see my tables are high in my she shed, so I thought I was hiding it. Anyways, I'm just showing you the wax I'll be using to fill it. That is going to be a Pro Blend 6 and this one is um, 650 excuse me Parasoy 600 and then this one is Pro Blend 650 I will be linking all of the waxes and stuff below that's the popsicle stick that I got from Amazon that is also a link below in the description box I'm just gonna show you how I put my wicks in place and I do this almost a uh, hundred percent of the time when I'm doing my candles especially if it's a double wick candle I have the single hold um, popsicle sticks as well if I'm just doing one wick and then I just kind of hold it taut so that my um, wick doesn't migrate now we're gonna be making the crust for the apple pie and so I just use regular aluminum foil and the top of a shoe box so really you can just grab stuff that you have around the house you don't necessarily have to um, use or go out and buy some items just for these purposes I liked I was crumbling it because I liked um, how the pie crust looks when it's more I don't know wrinkly I guess on top so that's what you see me doing there and now I'm just gonna pour the paraffin wax in there. I did get that paraffin wax from Lone Star. I am new to using this wax, so bear with me. I will be using it a lot in my videos, so it's going to be a trial and error. But you guys know I'm a trial and error type of girl, so every time you guys see me make something, <laughs> it's never going to look the same, um, usually on camera, because I am not a big camera person and trying to work the camera and create. Anyways, you guys are, I don't know why my camera wasn't focusing well, but that is just one of the other apples that didn't make it into the last apple pie. This is going to be my silicone uh, mold. I made those. I did link the video for those below as well. I used um, silicone from either Walmart or Home Depot. I can't remember, but I did link a video. I think it was my strawberry video there and now I'm just pouring the wax into my um, cup there I don't know why I can't think of the name of it you guys probably hear the train going by of course when I want to do a voiceover a train would like to come and say hi anyways um I didn't feel those too high last time I filled them I actually may want to fill them in higher because I don't feel like my apples poked out as much as I would have liked them to in this particular one at the end product. Anyways, now we've seen the paraffin um, cool down a little bit and it's not hot to touch. It is warm and still um, soft, but it does peel away from the foil. Again, I'm very new to using this wax. I'm not even sure that this is necessarily the best paraffin wax to use just yet. 
I'll keep playing with it and make more projects and I'll decide. Um, so if you do decide to go buy it, please don't go buy a 40 pound, 45 pound box. Um, I don't recommend it just yet. Anyways, um, I do credit Inedible Soap um, for the way I am trying to put my crust on. It's like a thumb and pinch method. She has perfected it. This is the bootleg sad version of this. <laughs> However, um, she was doing hers on the inside of the jar. I want mine's more on the outside of the jar. Um, but either way it goes, it's not perfect. Um, again, nothing that I create is really perfect. What it does do is get the job done. And honestly, I feel like we're all our worst critics. So what you see me doing is um, the best that I can. And then what I do is you'll just see how it comes together at the end. So you can be critical of the crust. You can be upset about how your apple slices look. But honestly, once you start to put it together, you'll see that it turns out just fine. And everyone that you make is gonna be different. So that's what I do like about creating. A lot of times you want it to be perfect. And honestly, the more perfect it looks, the more unrealistic it looks to me. So this is just me gassing myself up for how trash my crust looks on the outside. But anyways, if you do wanna see a the, this method, please, I did link her video down below. Um, it is in edible soaps. Um, so you can find it in the description box. But oh my gosh, she makes it look simple. I don't know if it's this different kind of wax that she's using. Um, if I just waited for it to get too hard. Either way, I've tried um, to make it a little bit softer, a little bit harder. I've used the wick um, the heat gun and I just find that kind of turns out the same either way so but I've never made a pie in my life either <laughs> these are the first pies I've ever made so maybe she's a professional pie maker no I'm just joking but she's got skills so please take a look at her video and now I'm just trying to mold it into um, the bowl just so that it doesn't come off or slide off. And it's still pretty pliable. That stuff gets hard, hard. So you do want to work quickly. Your heat gun is gonna be your friend as well. So if it hardens too quick, just put a little bit of heat to it. Um, but mine's was still pretty soft, pretty warm, and I could play with it a little bit. I was looking at some of the beads from Flaming Candle. I just wasn't ready to spend the money on shipping yet i'll wait till the holiday is over and then shipping is a little bit cheaper and when i need to buy more stuff from flaming candle there goes my popsicle sticks i know i i did show it at the beginning um but i decided to wait and go ahead and just put the crust on first i couldn't tell i was getting ready to well get my hair done so i was in a time crunch so i couldn't tell if it was going to be ready in time so that's why i did it that way and now I'm just pouring in the wax, um, the Pro Blend, or excuse me, the Parasoy 600 is what I'm pouring now. And I use this wax in particular for um, when I'm doing the, the uh, what do you call it? When I'm putting it in a bag and making my icing and stuff like that. Anyway, this is high density gel wax that we have here. Those are the apple slices that came out. Um, I don't use a lot of gel. I try not to because that gel is expensive. Um, you see, that's from the last project, so I reuse stuff as well. That's the dye blocks I'm using to color it. And that, normally, I think it would have been better if I'd colored the wax brown. And then I could have just used the less gel wax on top and just put it on the apples. Again, gel wax is expensive, so I like to have one box of that go a long way, especially if I'm not selling the product and I'm just experimenting with it. I like to reuse stuff over and over again. Now I'm going to make the filling, um, and so I'm back to using the paraffin. And I wanted it to be a lot thinner and smaller than the last one. It's still a little thick to me. 
but again trial and error they're not all going to come out the same i have no expectation that they will and i'm just pushing it down because <clears throat> it was protruding through the wax actually which for some reason i just thought the wax was going to come out the strips were going to be thinner i didn't want them as thick as the crust I'm telling you, I have multi-purposes for everything that I use. <laughs> you know, I'm just placing the apples in there. And as you can see, um, everything is nice, has hardened. And I probably would have made discolored those apples as well. Not that it matters with this project because you're pouring the brown gel wax. And I use quite a bit of gel wax on this. And again, I would have made those apples a little bit bigger so that when you are um, lighting it, you'll see those apples through. At the end, I'm gonna show you what the red soup bowl looked like when the apples were bigger. It was really obvious the difference. Now I'm just pouring the gel wax. I poured it a little bit hotter than I normally would because I know I was feeling the bottom as well. Um, I think I still had a chunk in there. That's why I'm kind of tossing it around a little bit to melt it. But I used the electric burner to um, do that gel wax because you know it has to get really, really hard. So I don't even use my Presto pot. I've linked all of that stuff as well. I got all of those, like Presto Pots and the warmers from Electric Skillet, rather, from Walmart. And as you can see, it's starting to thicken up. It's more like honey than syrup. Um, and that's how I can best describe it. Sometimes you want it to pour like syrup. Other times you want it to pour like honey. So cools really fast, especially if you're working. In, I'm in my she shed. Um, so especially if you're working in a cooler area, um, I can't wait to show you guys my she shed. I'm not ready to show it yet. I'm really critical of it still. I picked some ugly walls, and so I haven't <laughs> um, taken the time to decorate or paint more than I want, like I should, rather. So in a little bit, I may decide to do a she shed video. It's very exciting to have my own space away from others. I'm back here doing the audio now. I Went and told the kids, be very quiet, don't interrupt. And I was like, what am I talking about? You got a she shed, go to the she shed. So that's where I'm at now. You might hear the hum of my space heater. To keep me warm, it does still get cool in New Mexico at night. We are, even though we are in the desert. Anyways, my paraffin has cooled and now I'm just separating it um, again. I don't know that I found the actual perfect timing yet. It's gonna be, I, I'm not an expert in paraffin. This is new to me. I'm just showing you what you can do with your wax um, right now, even if you are in the beginning stages of trying to figure it out. But as I get used to it, I think I'll get better at the timing and when to take it out and all of that. But, Right now, I'm still trying to figure it out. And my tin foil, or excuse me, my aluminum foil had a hole in it so you can see how the wax leaked through. Anyways, now I'm just trying to strategically place them. Um, and this was difficult. It just, this time was a little bit more difficult than the last time. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if I was just in a rush or what, but... I was over it. Now I know in inedible soaps, what she did was she laid it over and then she just kind of pinched it off as she was going. But I kind of wanted to tuck it underneath um, just based on I had mine sitting outside of the jar as opposed to inside of the jar. So my technique is a little bit different than hers. And um, please, please, please go see her video. It's like beautiful. I love how she did it. 
and I am just again trying to place this mess. <laughs> you guys are used to me though. Like I learn as I go and you guys learn with me. And I appreciate that because you guys seem to appreciate me. Um, and I really feel like I like showing you guys this stage because we are, again, we're so hard on ourselves. And we're like, oh my God, I can't get this right. I'm not doing this right. And then we look at the end product. You're like, oh my gosh, that's so dope. And everybody's giving you all these compliments. And you're sitting here like thinking like, well, but the crest looks like this. And this looks like that. And they don't see that because most of the time they haven't seen anything like this before they didn't even know you could do all of that stuff with wax so um and then another thing too is if you don't burn these um which i do you guys see other little legs walking they are moving my stuff in from the house and into the shed but um another good thing about these if you don't end up burning them and you just have them for display you they're always good gifts for people at this time of year you just kind of hang on to that stuff and then you get rid of it and when i tell you family members like it because it's not something that they would ne necessarily buy and you don't always like to give it away because it's your hard work but when you're trying to make stuff room for new stuff for a new year it's the perfect time to start giving gifts and be like hey would you like this and they they really do appreciate it and they never burn it my mom has a banana pudding candle that I made one of my very first candles she still has it um I think the last time I saw it she had a toothpick in it um it's got some hair in it <laughs> it's in her bathroom <laughs> it's got dust mites in it it's been through some things but it just it still looks good <laughs> at least on the outside of the jar so that's what I like to do with all of my overflow stuff Anyways, um, as you can see, the ridge knife kind of made the little ridges on the side, which also is a nice little touch because honestly, that's what some of the pies look like when you buy them. Um, I don't know, I was just having a hard time tucking it. It probably would have been better if I just hit it with the heat gun a little bit. I probably let it harden a little too much. Um, and then it would have been a little bit more pliable. But again, I had to go get my hair done. Um, our stylist is like 45 minutes away. And I really wanted to finish this video and get some content up for you guys. It's been a long time and I'm excited to be back. So while I have the motivation. Anyways, this is um, olive oil mixed with, um, there you go, olive oil mixed with candle dye. And there is an E on the end of that, I promise. But <laughs> the way that it's edited, it looks like, I don't know how to spell die, but I do, I promise you I do. Um, and all I'm doing is painting it on. Those are paint brushes I got from Walmart. You can get them from Dollar Tree, all of that. Um, and then just put them in a cup of hot water to get them cleaned off for the next use. Because I still have probably like four of those Paint brushes in there that are hard as a rock because they all have candle wax and dye on them. But yep, yeah, just painting it to give it a more realistic look. And this was so fun. I can't wait to do more pie candles. Like I want to do strawberry pies, cherry pies, blueberry, peach pies. I mean, I have a farmer's market out here, so I feel like. Um, I've applied for my business license. I'm just waiting for it to come so I can go to the farmer's market. And I feel like these would be a hit um, for people. I don't really have a lot of competition out here when it comes to candle making. So locally, I think that these would do well. And I'm excited. I'm, and I have a whole year to perfect them. So that makes it even better. And guys, I think I bought like a hundred of these vessels. And I try not to be greedy, but if people don't go get them, then I go back. Like, I go back to fill up my cart, and then I'm like, okay, I'm sure they'll be gone. Because those pumpkins were gone like two days later. I was going to all the Walmarts. I think we have four in our area. 
I went to all the Walmarts and they were gone. I think I might have got 20 of them. People still ask me about those pumpkins. People still bring me those pumpkins. So I know that they will still bring me these ceramic bowls and I will fill them up for them for a cheaper price. And you that's how you can continue to make money off of a product. So definitely um, take advantage when they have these and they probably are still I, last time I went they still had about at least 50 more um I just didn't feel like they threw away all of the cardboard and I just didn't feel like putting them in my van <laughs> so they didn't break um but if they still have them I'll go back for them probably sometime this week but there it is. Um, I'm going to grab some crumbles to put on top. I do have a video and I have linked it below on how to make crumbles. I love how the crumbles look. It kind of makes it even more realistic to me. Again, um, you don't have to go with the crumble look on top. You just kind of wing it and do whatever. But that is the look I was going for. And then you'll be able to see the end product in just a minute. This was so satisfying to me. It was one of my favorite candles so far. And I made a lot of different kind of candles. Um, even off video that I haven't shared just yet. But it's like one of my favorites. Um, because I have been wanting to learn how to make this pie candle for so long. And then you're gonna see in just a little bit. the can This is the candle that we actually made today. And this is lit um, downstairs in my basement. I made this one the other day. And as you can see, those apples are big. And so you can really see them come through. So if you want them bigger, just make sure you, you do that. Thank you for watching, guys.